welcome to the night shift. Today we are going to be making my competition winning Bloody Mary recipe. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, a few years ago, Common Man Cocktails uh, had a Bloody Mary competition and I won first place with this recipe, so yeah, should be pretty good. So we're gonna get started. Uh, it's pretty easy, pretty simple. We got vodka, beer, uh, scrappies, fire water bitters. The original recipe I had also had scrappy celery bitters, which I'm out of right now, but since we're already infusing the vodka with celery, you won't miss it too much. Then we also have tomato juice, pepperoncini brine, and celery, garlic, black pepper, and celery salt. So let's get cooking, man. Or drinking, man. All right, so for starters, we're gonna take a stock celery and we're just gonna do a kind of rough chop on it. Get it into some small pieces to infuse the vodka. So just... Nothing too fancy. Just like that. Slide it in. And then we're gonna rough chop a clove of garlic. Doesn't have to be too big, but if you want more garlic, you can always do two smaller cloves or whatever. So a nice chop on that. Throw it in the tin. Use your knife to scrape everything off the board, because that's really good for it. All right, so we got that. We're going to put in two ounces of deep eddy vodka. So this jigger is actually one and a half ounces, so we're gonna kind of, you know, just pretend like I know what two ounces is, so that's cool. Has a little extra vodka, no one's gonna care. And then you just muddle that to infuse the vodka with the celery and the garlic and get all those nice flavors out of there. Alright, so after this is nice and infused in the vodka, um, forget if I said pepperoncini brine or not when I said the recipe earlier, but you know what, who cares? Uh, there's an ounce of pepperoncini brine in it, so get our nice little muddler out of here. Got our glass of ice, hawthorn strainer. Look at that. Now, I should have pulled out the ice from the freezer a little bit earlier, because right now it's like, when you get hit with that room temperature liquid, it kind of cracks a little bit. It's not really a problem, plus it's really cloudy ice anyway, and you can hear my dog tapping in the back room, so who the fuck cares? All right, so we got our infused vodka settling in there. We're gonna put in one ounce of pepperoncini brine. It's really good, really natural yellow color. Um, if your piss looks like this, you should probably change something in your diet. Uh, six ounces tomato juice. We're gonna hit it with Scrappy's fire water bitters, which are fantastic. All right, so I'm gonna do seven dashes in this guy. Four, five, six, seven, boom. It's good. If you get it on your fingers, make sure to wash your hands before you go to the bathroom or, you know, like, uh, fondle yourself or anything. Anyway, two ounces of Pabst Blue Ribbon Beer. It's the best beer served anywhere. The beer helps cut down the tomato juice. Now you can use tomato juice, you can use V8, you can use uh, Clamato, whatever floats your boat. Um, but all of them are pretty thick because tomato juice is really fucking thick. So I like to have the beer in there and it kind of like settles it down, makes it a little more palatable. Um, get your chef's knife and use that to stir everything together. So once again, just take good care of your knives. All right, we're going to do a little bit of cracked black pepper on top as a little garnish. A little bit too much, but whatever. And then finish with some celery salt. And an easy 
simple garnish of celery with some tomatoes and a pepperoncini, which you can't see at that angle. Um, so that's cool. Let me just zoom up. Boom. Uh, now to reinsert it in a very phallic manner. Boom. Beautiful. And that's really fucking tasty Bloody Mary, man. All right, humans. Like I said, that's my Bloody Mary recipe. I really like it. Like I said, it won a competition, so it must be kind of all right. Um, yeah, it's really good. And I would recommend getting Scrappy's Bitters, even if you don't want to make a Bloody Mary, because bitters are just really fun to mess around with and cocktails and things like that. So, uh, cheers. Happy weekend, man. That's pretty good. That's pretty good alcoholic tomato juice. Cheers. Have a good one.